you swine, you vulgar little maggot, you worthless bag of filth. As we say back home, you couldn't pour piss out of a boot if the instructions were on the heel. You are a caker, an open wound. I would rather kiss a lawyer than be seen with you. You took your last vacation in the islets of Langerhans. You're a putrescent mass, a walking vomit. You're a spineless little worm deserving nothing but the profoundest contempt. You're a jerk, a cad, and a weasel. I take that back. You're a festering pustule on a weasel's rump. Your life is a monument to stupidity. You are a stench, a revulsion, a big suck on a sour lemon. I will never get over the embarrassment of belonging to the same species as you. You are a monster, an ogre, a malformity. I boff at the very thought of you. You have all the appeal of a paper cut. Lepers avoid you. You are vile, worthless, less than nothing. You are a weed, a fungus, the dregs of this earth. You are a technicolor yawn. And did I mention that you smell? You are a squeaking rat, a mistake of nature, and a heavy metal bagpipe player. You are not born. You are hatched into an unwilling world that rejects the likes of you. You didn't crawl out of a normal egg either, but rather a mutant maggot egg rejected by an evil scientist as being below his low standards. Your alleged parents abandoned you at birth and died of shame in recognition of what they had done to an unsuspecting world. They were a bit late. Try to edit your responses of unnecessary material before attempting to impress us with your insight. The evidence that you are a nincompoop will still be available to readers, but they will be able to access it ever so much more rapidly. If cluelessness were crude oil, your scalp would be crawling with caribou. You are a thick-headed trog. I've seen skeet with more sense than you have. You are a few bricks short of a full load, a few cards short of a full deck, a few bites short of a full core dump, and a few chromosomes short of a full human. Worse than that, you top post. God created houseflies, cockroaches, maggots, mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, slugs, leeches, and intestinal parasites. Then he lowered his standards and made you. I take it back. God didn't make you. You are Satan's spawn. You are evil beyond comprehension, half living in the slough of despair. You are the entropy which will claim us all. You are a green nostril, cross-eyed, hairy, livid, inbred trout defiler. You make Ebola look good. You are weary, stale, flat, and unprofitable. You are grimy, squalid, nasty, and profane. You are foul and disgusting. You are a fool and ignoramus. Monkeys look down on you. Even sheep won't have sex with you. You are unreservedly pathetic, starved for attention, and lost in a land that reality forgot. You are not NC compliant, and your markup doesn't validate. You have a couple of address lines shorted together. You should be promoted to engineering manager. Do you really expect your delusional and incoherent ramblings to be read? Everyone plogged you ten years ago. Do you fantasize that your tantrums and conniption fits could possibly be worth the one millionth of one dollar's worth of electricity used to send them? Your life is one big wombat, and your future doesn't look promising either. We need to trace your bloodline and terminate all siblings and cousins in order to cleanse humanity of your polluted genes. The good news is that no normal human being would ever meet with you, so we won't have to go into the sewers in search of your git. You are a waste of flesh. You have no rhythm. You are ridiculous and obnoxious. You are the moral equivalent of a leech. You are a living emptiness, a meaningless void. You are sour and senile. You are a loathsome disease, a drooling, inbred, cross-eyed toe-sucker. You make Quakers shout and strike Pentecostal silent. You have a version 1.0 mine in a version 6.12 world. Your mother had to tie a pork chop around your neck just to get your dog to play with you. You think that www.lowgenius.net is the name of a rock band. You believe that PDQ Bach is the greatest composer who ever lived. You prefer L. Ron Hubbard to Larry Niven and Jerry Purnell. Hee-haw is too deep for you. You would watch test patterns all day if the other inmates would let you. On a good day, you're a half-wit. You remind me of drool. 
You are deficient in all that lends character. You have the personality of a wallpaper. You are dank and filthy. You are asinine and benighted. Spammers look down on you. Phone sex operators hang up on you. Telemarketers refuse to be seen in public with you. You are the source of all unpleasantness. You spread misery and sorrow wherever you go. May you choke on your own foolish opinions. You are a pusillanimous galactophage, and you wear your sister's training bra. Don't bother opening the door when you leave. You should be able to slime your way out underneath. I hope that when you get home, your mother runs out from under the porch and bites you. You smarmy laying aloud git. You bloody woofed sod. Bugger off, Pillock. You grotty wanking oink all this base called Apple John. You clouded boggish foot licking half twit. You dankish clack dish plonker. You gormless crook painted tosser. You bloody churlish boiled brain clot pole punks. You craven dewberry pisshead cock a pranning naff. You cock a bum bailey poofter. You gob kissing gleeking flat mouthed coxcomb. You dread bolted farming beef winning clapper clown flood gill. May your spouse be blessed with many bastards. You are so clueless that if you dressed in a clue skin, doused yourself in clue musk, and did a clue mating dance in a field full of horny clues at the height of clue mating season, you still could not get a clue. If you were a movie, you would be a double feature, Battlefield Earth and Moron Movies 2, and you would be out of focus. You are a fiend and a sniveling coward, and you have bad breath. You are the unholy spawn of a bandy-legged hobo and a syphilitic camel. You wear strangely mismatched clothing with oddly placed stains. You are degenerate, noxious, and depraved. I feel debased just knowing that you exist. I despise everything about you, and I wish you would go away. You are jetsam who dreams of becoming flotsam. You won't make it. I beg for sweet death to come and remove me from a world which became unbearable when you crawled out of a harpy's lair. It is hard to believe how incredibly stupid you are. Stupid as a stone that the other stones make fun of. So stupid that you have traveled far beyond stupid as we know it and into a new dimension of stupid, meta-stupid. Stupid cube, trans stupid, stupid, stupid collapsed to a singularity where even the stupons have collapsed into stuponium. Stupid so dense that no intelligence can escape. Singularity stupid, blazing hot summer day on Mercury stupid. You emit more stupid in one minute than our entire galaxy emits in a year. Quasar stupid. It cannot be possible for anything in our universe to really be this stupid. This is a primordial fragment from the original big stupid bang. A pure extract of stupid with absolute stupid purity. Stupid beyond the laws of nature. I must apologize. I can't go on. This is my epiphany of stupid. After this experience, you may not hear from me for a while. I don't think that I can summon the strength left to mock your moronic opinions and malformed comments about boring trivia or your other drivel. The only thing worse than your logic is your manners. I have snipped away most of what you wrote because, well, it didn't really say anything. Your attempt at constructing a creative flame was pitiful. I mean, really, stringing together a bunch of insults among a load of babbling was hardly effective. Maybe later in life, after you've learned to read, write, spell, and count, you will have more success. True, these are rudimentary skills that many of us quote normal people take for granted that everyone has an easy time of mastering. But we sometimes forget that there are challenged persons in this world who find these things to be difficult. If I had known that this was true in your case, I would never have exposed myself to what you wrote. It just wouldn't have been right. Sort of like parking in a handicapped space. I wish you the best of luck in the emotional and social struggles that seem to be placing such a demand on you. P.S. You are hypocritical, greedy, violent, malevolent, vengeful, cowardly, deadly, mendacious, meretricious, loathsome, despicable, belligerent, opportunistic, baritrous, contemptible, criminal, fascistic, bigoted, racist, sexist, avaricious, tasteless, idiotic, brain damaged, imbecilic, insane, arrogant, deceitful, demented, lame, self-righteous, Byzantine, conspiratorial, satanic, fraudulent, libelous, bilious, splenetic, spastic, ignorant, clueless, edlinoid, 
illegitimate, harmful, destructive, dumb, evasive, double-talking, devious, revisionist, narrow, manipulative, paternalistic, fundamentalist, dogmatic, idolatrous, unethical, cultic, disease, suppressive, controlling, restrictive, malignant, deceptive, dim, crazy, weird, dyspeptic, stifling, uncaring, plantigrade, grim, unsympathetic, jargon-spouting, censorious, secretive, aggressive, mind-numbing, abrasive, poisonous, flagrant, self-destructive, abusive, sorcery, retarded, puerile, and generally not good. I hope this helps.